Now, in my latest video of my attempt on a glitch hobby, I think you guys saw the knock board and you saw others use it as well. Today, in this video, I'm showing you how to get this knock board or what you see on YouTube and other Aubrey players and other people who show their mouse and keyboard also have the knock board. How to download it, set it up on OBS, and some tip I have for you guys. All right. So basically, you search it up Nachborn, and the first thing it should be the GitHub link, and you'll see the Corona update, which is the latest update, and you can download it. I already have it downloaded, and you need to extract it, of course. Once you extract it, it will be like this. All right, open the application, and it will be different from mine. I'll show you how it looks like. I'm not really sure how. It looks like when you uh, when you are new in the application but I don't really know how it looks like for you guys so if you want to change to how others look like first of all you need to right click on an empty space literally on the application and press load keyboard and once you're in here you'll get this pop out now I need I need you guys to find G O A O 7 Y T and find something you like I basically use this one. You can close out the pop out, and once you have this, now how to set up on OBS is really actually simple. Under sources, press on the plus button and go window capture. All right, and set it to knockboard. All right. Now once you have it, it look like this, and now you can just scale it around and and put it wherever you want on your screen. And now the most important part is the getting rid of the green part behind your knockboard. You click on filters. Besides properties, press on effects filters, the plus button, and chroma key. Okay, and that's basically it. Don't edit these properties because it's um kind of useless, honestly. It already sets up for you, and that's it. When you record, don't press the minimize button on the knockboard. This will make it disappear. I recommend just like press it on the application, and it will just immediately just make it gone. What actually happens is just gonna be behind the application. That's basically it.